Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to make um, basically an epic poster um, using very similar methods to create three very completely different posters. Um, so, for example, I got, I got three posters here. This first one is a comedy poster called The Comedy Original. Um, and as you can see, it's a black and white dude on a white background with kind of a poppin' uh, title and then the credits at the bottom. So what's the next one? Oh, it's the Lincoln poster from the new Lincoln movie, which has a white background with a black and white dude with kind of a poppin' title and then the credits. Very different though, because this is a very serious movie. The third one I got, it's not from a movie, it's from a video game. Uh, this is the Call of Duty cover. It's got a black and white dude on a white background with a poppin' title and then, I guess that's a credit. Um, and so basically, these are all three posters that are essentially the same, um, <laughs> except that they, uh, they don't actually, they, they, they convey different messages. So um, for the actual tutorial, I will show how to make this one here. So for starters, I'm just gonna drag this poster just to get the sizing of a poster. And then I went in and took pictures of Steven here. Um, so that one was for Lincoln. This is the one I want to use. I do suggest lighting better whenever you actually take these pictures because mine weren't quite contrasty enough. Um, so then we just select Steven. You've been selected. And just drag him over onto this thing. Now he's obviously way, way too big. So shrink him down to size. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. OK, so we're going to do that. And then we're going to apply that transformation. Come up here and select the background, and then delete that um, using just the delete key. Uh, and that can get rid of that. And then we want to deselect it using Command-D. E. Um, I like to go in and blur, no, not that one, blur the edges some, because I think it you know, makes it look less atrocious. Um, so we can just kind of, especially on the hair, because hair is always not fun to do. So just, yeah, kind of take that in there. Slight blur. Um, and then, so after we do that, we're going to want to come up here to the image, go to adjustments, hue saturation, and the first thing we want to do is take the saturation to zip, or negative 100. Um, and then we come back up to here, adjustments, and do brightness contrast. And we're doing contrast all the way to the max. And then brighten it up as well, so that way we uh, get some real blown out whites here. Um, and then come back up into the adjustments, select it again. It's been reset. Um, so then we're going to add a little more contrast just to kind of bring out that pop. And I'm going to delete this because we don't need Lincoln in the background. Goodbye, Lincoln. All right, um, I make a new layer, throw it under the bottom one there, um, go over to this thing here, the paint bucket, and just splash white in the background. Um, and then for the bottom here, where it's just got like a pretty stark line, um, we want to come into the, the eraser tool, um, select a nice feathered brush with hardness all the way down to Zippo. And uh, just go in here and, whoops, select Steven. Nope, that wasn't good. And go in and just kind of feather away that edge so it's not like, yo, I'm the end of a picture. Um, all right, so then once we do that, um, we'll go back and reference our picture here a little bit and be like, oh, so, eh, maybe blow out the whites a little more. So we can go back up to adjustments, brightness, contrast, um, bring up the contrast a little more, bring up the brightness a little more. Um, and then basically what we're going to want to do is um, get a, a title here that's going to stand out. So the people in the um, in the comedy decided to use red. So you know, red red stands out good. Skin nice burgundy. Uh, title thingy. 
We want to use a nice friendly um, sans serif, so use your favorite sans serif, me, Helvetica. Okay, that went. Go over to this and make sure all that is normal. Steven, and then make it wampin. Hmm. Oh, yeah. All right. Um, I don't really feel like making credits, so I'm gonna probably just hold this in and just uh, copy. That's 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 my version, by the way, that I already made. Um, so, yep, so Steven is dead inside. Um, so basically then we're going, I'm going to just kind of pull these credits here into, um, into this one, just for the heck of it. And also a film by me. All right, so we have our super high contrasty picture. Um, I stuck a little quote up here because you know it's uh, you know got to be a reliable source. Um, in this one, I used a slightly bolder font, which probably works better ultimately because um, it you know it'll stand out against our picture here. Um, but this you know kind of conveys the dry humor of this film. So if we were wanting to do one that was more of a serious film, here I got you know Simmons with Stephen J. Simmons in it, um, and this kind of gives the feeling of oh this is going to be some kind of a thing where we have like some kind of Declaration of Independence going on down here. Um, yeah. Um, so then, but you know, here we got Stephen in war. I mean, you know, we're kind of conquering countries. This is a, a take on the classic walking away from an explosion I just made with a. You know, powered screwdriver thing there, drill, um, and but set on the white background, um, adding smoke in. Uh, I didn't. In the original, it had sparks. I didn't feel like making sparks, so I just used like a grass. Um, and then, of course, your logo in the corner is affected by other things because it's worn out just as much as Steven is. Um, and I know this is really like choppy and badly done edges. I need to brush those actually, um, but that would fix that. Basically though, the main part about this that makes it um, really important is in this picture, there's a lot of contrast in the face. Um, you know, the bottom is just pretty much blending into the white. Um, here, you know, we have this high contrast, lots of dark areas and light areas. This one's really crisp, and this one's high, um, very low contrast with a lot of dark um, in, in it, so that way it just kind of stands out. Um, but, you know, it's just an example of three posters, essentially the same, with three different, completely different meanings for three different movies slash video games that all are mainstream, but you can use it to your advantage because people will immediately recognize, oh, this is going to be some epic film about Lincoln. In it.